Well, the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks have won it tonight. A tight one with the Lincoln Salt Dogs. 3-2, your final score tonight at Newman Outdoor Field. Jack Michaels back with you on the postgame show. We are joined by Red Hawks manager Doug Simonick down on the field. And, and, Skip, how about this one? Tyler Alexander, he is just a, a grown man, Doug. He has given you everything, especially his last couple of starts, the complete game win north of the border in Winnipeg, and then tonight, and then he gains the ball to Mike Nesseth, who looked very strong. Nice win tonight, Skip. Yeah, Alexander was, you know, it wasn't his best stuff, but, man, for a young guy, he really picked up on what did he, need, he needed to do. I mean, he should be a real – big confidence boost and going down the stretch here and into next year. I mean, he's just, he's, he's catching on every day. He's just doing things every day that, you know, that we don't know if he's going to be able to do them and he does them. I mean, the last inning he used his slider a lot. He had his giddy up when he needed to go to a fastball late and he's just a pleasant surprise for us since the day we got him and he's come out here and he's pitched well and, you know, hopefully if someone doesn't pick him up, he can come back here next year and pitch well again. I mean, he's just that good. Back-to-back -back nights, Doug, where your team put three runs on the board in the first inning, and then you saw Lincoln also counted with a good pitching effort tonight by McGovern, Doug. And what was he doing out there? He scattered some hits throughout the inning, and three was enough in the first, Doug, uh, obviously, but a, a well-pitched game by them as well. Well, I mean, he threw a ball good. McGovern did. He got, uh, you know, he had a little shaky start, but – Tell you what, his slider's pretty good. I mean, he was able to throw the ball down in the ground to finish some guys, so he kept the hitters off balance. Really didn't get a lot of great swings off of him, but, you know, Mirren had three hits off him, so three of our eight, and, and, you know, the one he hit down the left field corner really counted. Doug, this team, your team is playing such great baseball. Earlier in the season, games where maybe you didn't add on, uh, the other team did, and you'd end up on the other side of these 3-2 games, Doug. What's been the difference here in the last couple of weeks for the squad, Skip? Well, just guys coming in and, you know, believing in what we're doing and, you know, we're trying to get it on track. I mean, we only know we got 17 games. We're trying to play as hard as we can and win as many as we can. And, and you know, they're, they're just buying into what we're doing and they're coming out and giving good effort. I mean, you know, I thought our defense played pretty good tonight. And, you know, we're, 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 we got some bright things ahead of us, Jack, I guess is the way I need to put it. And, you know, and if we can continue to do that and build on it, I mean, there's some pieces in this place. So we know which pieces we need to have. And if the pieces can, can continue to play like this throughout and they come back next year, I don't see any reason why we can't be a team that contends. There's no question about it, Skip. You've won four games before in a row this season, but this is the first four game. This is the first series sweep this season, Doug. And it's not easy to sweep a four-game series. You can speak to that, Skip. Well, I mean, you know, Lincoln's a team that was in the final last year, so, you know, they lost in uh, five games. So that's, it's a team that's got some experience at that, at that playoff level, and, you know, we were able to beat them here, and, you know, they're having their little bit of growing pains. I mean, they're starting pitching pitch pretty good against us, and, you know, we showed enough perseverance that the guys in our lineup, which our lineup's a lot better now because it's a little more deeper. We got guys all the way down to nine that can swing the bat, so... We're, we're, you know, we're, we may have chugged out of the gate a little slow, but we're chugging in pretty hard. There's no question. Final thing for you, Skip. Sell the weekend series for the fans here uh, tuning in and still at the ballpark. Three more with Gary Southshore. You just beat a Gary Southshore team in a series here at Newman not too long ago, Doug. But what about the weekend? What's in store? Well, they've changed their look a little bit. They've made a big trade. They got rid of Pole for Martinez. They got Geiger. They've got a new look, so... It'll be something different that we haven't seen from them. I don't know if their style will change. But we just got to be who we are and go out and try to play some runs early in the game, give our starting pitchers a chance. Stanton will get the goal first night, and Mann will go second, Heron third. So we got three big boys going in this series. So, you know, we feel pretty good with who we have, and hopefully we can take advantage of it. Well, who you are right now, Doug, is a, is a team that is playing better baseball than anybody else in the American Association. So congratulations on – the win tonight. Keep it up over the weekend, Skip. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Jack. Feels good, buddy. You got it. Red Hawks manager Doug Simonick joining us tonight from Newman Outdoor Field. The Red Hawks now have won 10 of their last 12 games. Tonight, a 3-2 win over the Lincoln Salt Dogs. We're back as our postgame show continues in a moment. This is FM Red Hawks Baseball.